This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. The third denial, which was in Mark 26, verses 73 and 74, Peter identified with the world. He started acting like one who is not a follower of Jesus, and certainly people deny Jesus that way today. Now, in our passage today in John, Jesus addresses those three denials by Peter. That's why he asked the question three times, and he asked it a little differently each time. He addresses those denials by Peter, but he also addresses those denials in our own life, the way that we deny Christ in our own life. And he asked Peter these three questions, apparently each one relative to each individual denial. And so I want us to take a look at those three. The first one was facing the denial of lordship. All right, Peter, the first time you denied lordship, you denied my rightful place in your life. And he tells us the same thing. John 21, verse 15, when they'd finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? And he said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And he said to him, feed my lambs. Now, when Jesus asked Peter if he loved him more than these, some scholars believe that Jesus was referring to the other disciples because, remember, uh, Peter had said that even if they abandoned him, he would stand by Jesus. You know, oh, they, they can run away, but I'll stick with you, Jesus. But based on Jesus' response to Peter's answer, I believe that Jesus was asking Peter if he loved him more than his way of life. Remember, he had gone back to fishing. So he was there with a boat and his nets and, you know, and all of this, the accoutrements of his life. He had gone back to his old life is really what it amounted to. He had decided, he had seen the risen Lord and he had still gone back to his old way of life. Do you ever do that? Shake your head north to south. Sometimes you do. You have seen the risen Lord. You have a relationship with the King of kings and Lord of lords. And sometimes you want to go back to your old way of life. And I think that's what Jesus was asking. He was asking Peter, do you love me more than your old way of life? And these, that were these being a reference to his possessions and lifestyle. And I love Peter's response. Peter said, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. You know that I love you. And the word that he uses for no here, actually he uses it twice in, in both the, the, the first denial and second denial. The response to that uh, is the word oyo, O-I-Y-O. And it is, it is a word that, that means you, uh, you have a, a, a real intimate knowledge of this, God. You know. You know my heart. That's what he's saying. He said, you, you know me intensely. You know that I, I, I'm, not, I'm not making this up, God. You know that I love you. And so it was as if Peter was saying, look, Lord, in spite of messing up, you know my heart and you know that I love you, even if I haven't shown it. You know, sometimes that's exactly how we have to come to the Lord. Sometimes that's the first step in coming back to the Lord. It's recognizing that, yep, I messed up. I've really blown it. But God, you know that in my heart of hearts, I know how I'm going to act like it, but you know, God, I really do love you. I just blew it. I messed up. It's okay to come to God that way. That's exactly what Peter was doing. God, you know, you know, you owe you. In the depth of my heart, you know that I really do love you, God. I, it's there. I just messed up. And Jesus answers him with a very simple commission. He says, feed my lambs. Now, it's a wonderful charge to Peter and to us. What he's, what he's saying is, here's what I want you to do, Peter. I want you to focus on your calling. Peter, you have a responsibility to go and grow lambs. Probably, now, remember, Peter was a fisherman, so he wasn't talking about a job. He was talking about a calling. It was probably a reference to other followers of Christ. 
perhaps even specifically new followers of Christ. The truth of the matter is everybody at that time were new followers of Christ. And so he, what he was saying to, to Peter was, was simply this, you have a calling in your life. Peter, it's time for you to go and do what you're supposed to do. And I love that Jesus didn't chastise Peter. He didn't say, well, don't let it happen again. He said, get back to what you're supposed to do. Yeah, you've messed up, Peter. You've not acted like a follower of, a follower of Christ but it's time for you to get past that and get back to what it is that God wants to do in and through your life. Yeah, you blew it. But God isn't the God of the past. He's the God of the future. God's not dwelling on your past. He's dwelling on your future. He's looking at what He wants to accomplish, not what you've accomplished. He's looking at what He's going to do, not what you've done. And so your God, who is the God of the future, says, it's time for you to get back to what you're supposed to do when you've blown it. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, we want to thank you for watching. We hope it was a blessing.